How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Master League here on Pez 2020 with Andy Erickson as the manager of Anencia. So we're still grinding through the episode here as we're in the month of November, finally. And we've been on a good run of full, made a great October. Um, saw us win five games in a row before we dropped our uh, game on the road against Spiza in the very last match in the last episode. Um, but uh, other than just the offense being a little bit stagnant at times, we've been playing pretty well, especially defensively. Got a lot of clean sheets to start the campaign. Um, one thing I did, I think, believe I did to go over was um, the team of the month last month. And oof, there, look at all those Venencia players Zagoni, Amaru, Lolo, Caligara, My Male, uh, Jordi Aliso uh, dominated the team of the month for October. We were such a uh, cohesive unit, you know, and uh, really uh, stepped up big this month. All right, that being said, let's go to the trusted game board. And now we've got to worry about the Lemma, as now we are in a striking range of the Lemma. Really can't afford to have hit at this at this month, especially with the winter window looming. We really can't afford to be losing any top quality players while we're on this run of form. So let's see what the dice roll gives us. Please, no fives. Three, two, one, go. And it's, of course, it's a five. <laughs> oh no. Well. It was bound to happen, so one, two, three, four, five. We've landed on Dilemma. And that is going to force us to release a youth prospect slash protege. And we'll have to, right now I've got it marked as Rossi as our top protege. Um, we'll go and double check that, but he is officially going to be off the squad now due to some kind of violation of uh, team rules. Let's take a look though. Oh, that is absolutely heartbreaking, especially if it's a youngster as well. So we'll sort by market value. Um, let's take a look here. I think, as a, yeah, he is my top. He's been pretty good for us. He scored two goals and an assist. He's gotten an average rating of seven. He's been kind of a starter for us now with the departure. The upcoming departure of D. Mariano, but unfortunately for Rossi, we are going to have to release you from the club. So um, I feel bad for the youngster. He was looking really promising for us, but the 19-year-old has been officially cut for the night's yet. So Rossi is now gone. Here's what the lineup looks like for the first match of the episode after we had cut Rossi from the squad. Uh, Lizarini is getting the start in net once again. We got Caradonna and Maldolo. This center back pairing, we've got Fe Felicoli and Lakovic, the fullbacks, Baca and Caligara, the defensive midfielders, with Lolo, the attacking midfielder. The wingers will be Alexander, Primenta, and Ambru, and Zagoni is going to get the start at center forward. Well, hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. Oh, it's off the crossbar and cleared away. Oh, the shot and just goes wide. It's Cartone or putting the pressure on us early. It's a good little play. We're a little bit stretched in there as it gets the shot away. Finds Caligara. Vantage played. Oh, nice pass! And nice goal! <laughs> oh my goodness. 
And just like that, we've scored. And I apologize for not jumping for excitement right away. I was a little bit taken aback by the goal. Because it's Sigoni again with the just the cleanest of flicks past the keeper. And we found ourselves up 1-0 here. So we've just been kind of working it down the wings here. Good little play here. As you can see, as Pimenta just plays that through ball, sees that Zagoni is making a run. And Zagoni just flicks it there on that left foot. See there, just great awareness from the youngster Pimenta there. And an even better finish from the center forward Zagoni. And now Pimenta hits it first time. And a big save by the keeper. Great little play there. And there's halftime. Well, it was a good first half for us. Did what we had to do here on our home turf, but uh, still not far from over. Oh no, breaks, counters on. Oh, good ball in, and it's a goal for Cretone. The counterattack pays off, and it's Sibby with the goal. And they have equalized here with a brilliant run of play and just a sloppy, sloppy attack. Kind of just made the wrong step forward there. Didn't shut down the cross. See there, the fullback got suckered in there with that short pass. And you just see just space for days there. And our back line was scrambling, but uh, left it to no avail to stop the center forward. And just like that, we are tied up at one. Oh, nice. Zagoni, can he finish it? Oh, no, he can't. He sends it wide. Great little build-up play, and Erickson knew that was the chance to go back up front. So just working it into the box. See Lolo just found a little space, and then he found Zagoni, but Zagoni just trying to get, be too cute with it. Oh no, gave him a little space to turn and shoot, but the keeper makes a nice save. Oh, Lolo with the shot, and the keeper has to parry it away. So Lolo fancied it from distance there. Maybe thought he'd catch the keeper napping there, as so we've been kind of just working slowly to put it into the box. The keeper just got enough of it to send it wide. Alright, substitution. Sorry, in. See if we can whip a good ball in here. Amaru to whip it in. Good pace. Oh, the header, it goes in. I should say the header to the foot. And it's the substitute. Simone with his first goal for the club, I believe. Because he's been a reserve player until the recent departure of Rossi. Saw a spot open up for him. And just like that, we've taken the lead there off a corner. I was going to say, it was uh, looking like we are going to miss that set-piece play, but Simone read it beautifully and got his foot to it as the cross was nice and low for Bamaru there. So here it is again. Nice ball in. Just ran in front of the defenders, and it's off the defender. Oh, nice ball in. Can't clear it, though. And the header. Oh, it's flicked on. And nearly an equalizer there in the dying members of the game. As we were trying to get that ball away. Caradona tried to clear it, couldn't get there. Gives uh, <laughs> Sammy another opportunity, but he couldn't get it on frame. And that's going to be the final whistle. A hard fought win here on home against a very good side here in Bertone. But Venezia get back to winning ways here. That was an enjoyable game, hard fought. I think the game could have gone either way, honestly, with the chances that both sides were generating. Um, we managed to score a goal on a corner and uh, give us the victory here. And it was a young, and uh, one of our new players from the reserves getting the opportunity gets the uh, crucial game-winning goal. Man, the match goes to Zagoni. He again, he's been valuable as a uh, as our center forward this season, our best attacker. Um, Amaru had a good game. Pimenta actually played pretty well. He's been 
Kind of like Lester, so it's good to see he played well. Our, our defense was definitely shaky. Having just difficulty dealing with the two center backs, center forwards, I should say. Um, Simone off the bench was outstanding as well. Coming up big with that uh, set piece goal. All right, with that victory in, despite getting the dilemma, we actually came out pretty well in that episode. We got a new winger stepping up from reserves that played well. But let's get right into the dice roll here. Let's see what we'll land on. Hopefully, it'll be something good. Three, two, one, go. It's a two. It's a one and a two. Player upgrade again. So we can change the playing style of one player. So let's take a look and see which player, preferably one of my starters, who I feel like should be uh, maybe playing more, a better playing style than his position uh, should be, that he's normally used to be playing with. Well, so I have decided that the player that's going to get their uh, playing style change is going to be Lolo. He's a box-to-box -box now, but um, considering we put him more of an attacking midfield role, I kind of want him to be more of a whole player to make those kind of runs into the box to help support uh, the center forward and the wingers. So I think that'll be a more beneficial use of his uh, role in, in Erickson's club in the future. So whole player will be his, uh, we'll keep him on whole player until he learns that. Our next match in this episode, we'll see Valencia travel to Peruvia. You are a bottom of the table at the moment. Here's what the lineups look like. Uh, Palmini's getting the start in net. Uh, Cremonose and Modolo are the center backs. Caradona's dramatic improvement is officially over. So now uh, we're getting our regular two center backs starting back there. Uh, Felicoli is keeping his place at fullback, and uh, Mazzoletti is getting a start at right back. Baca and Caligara still holding strong in that defensive midfield. Uh, Sensei is actually going to get to start the attacking midfield. With uh, Pimenta and Amaru, the wingers, and Capello is going to be the center forward. Right. It's a gorgeous afternoon here at the Rento Curry. As uh, I forgot to turn the commentary on before the match. But uh, we've played taking on the team that's in last place in Serie B and we're closing ground on the leaders we could overtake first place if we get a good result here. Oh, stand brilliant, Sensei's there. That is one. Sensei the shot and the keeper makes a brilliant save. So Sensei coming on has been putting some uh, dangerous balls into play there. Great little play there. Should have been a foul. But the keeper keeping that near post clean as he forces a corner. Ah. Baca took him down. Might earn a yellow card. It does. It's been a little frustrating there for us here. This Peruga are just playing very hard for their team right now here. Trying to upset us. Free kick, not very close. Just see a decent ball in. Out wide. It's crossed in, Vodka clears it. Oh, the shot, and whoa! Probably their best chance in the match so far there. Off that set piece play, we're just kind of scrambling there. So they're able to pass their way right back into the box and take a shot on net. And that's halftime. So we've been hanging on. Paluga's not giving it up without a fight. And but it's nil-nil going to the locker room. Oh no, guys, turn. The shot gets away. Clear it away, get rid of it. Ah, Calgara does get rid of it. Now wide Amaru. He's gonna have time to cross this in. Capello off the post. Oh, ho, ho. it was right there for the taking, and Erickson knows it. As uh, that one was setting up beautifully, it was gonna look like a good goal. Amaru got free, no crossed it in, had the keeper beat, but just rattled off the post. Oh no, break it down in defense. 
Oh, that ball found a way through and it beat the keeper, but it was just trickling wide. As you can see, we were holding our line high there on the box, and the shot took a deflection. I believe that was off Cremonesi. Oh, nicely worked. Kelly Gara, he's going to score! And just like that, Venezia have taken the lead here in the 66th minute. It was a brilliant little counterattack. We've been having a tough time breaking down this Peruga defense. But after that uh, corner they had, just we took it down to the other end. Kylo just marching it down there, down the wing. He holds up play. He sees Caligara sitting at the top of the box, and Caligara just hits it beautifully on the left foot. And I thought he was maybe going to just whiz it past the keeper. He did indeed. And he kept it on target as well. Great finish there. Oh, he's taken down at the edge of the box. And the referee didn't like that challenge. And he's going over and giving a yellow card to Caligara. And it was rightfully so. We were feeling the pinch. But uh, it did go down quite easily there. So now we got to worry about this free kick. Off the wall. The defense. Oh, and he falls down on the edge of the box again. And Peruga are looking for a penalty. They're trying to go to Sin give him a penalty, but Simone, who just came on, gets booked. See here, he was just hassling the defender until he finally just fell down, and Simone can't believe it. Oh, that's definitely a card referee. And Peruga finally going to get shown the card here. Because they've been uh, getting away with it here a little bit. Some of the dives they've been doing, but Capello that time was looking to get it, break out, and just got clipped. And there it is, the final whistle. A scrappy match, but it was a good one for us. Caligara comes home the winner and gives us three more points in the bag. Talk about a physical match. That one had it all. Um, the fouls counts don't show it, but that was definitely a chippy match from both sides. Going in with some hard tackles. There's the match is winding down. But more importantly, we get three more points, and Caligara wins the man of the match. Deserve it for his goal and his work in the midfield. Um, even though we got the clean sheet, Pomdi didn't play well. Neither did our center back, Mondoldo. Um, Capella was solid. I mean, we just we were kind of just grinding away at this one because Peruga were just so tightly compacted. We were just having our uh, our difficulties just getting space to operate in. But at the end of the day. It's a good result for us, and three more points in our hunt for uh, the Serie B title. Ladies and gentlemen, match day 10 in Serie B has concluded, and as you can see, we have overtaken Chievo here. We are now in first position in Serie B. Um, wasn't expecting this when I started this uh, Master League. I figured we would be... We'd be a, a solid mid-table team, probably in contention, maybe in the top 10. But to be leading here in the first 10 matches of this uh, Master League is quite astounding because you can see we don't we don't score a lot of goals, but the but we but we are the best defensive team in the league right now, and that's what's keeping us atop of the table and keeping us in these matches. As we only have one loss to our name. Seven wins on the trot, even with uh, you know, team spirit changes and the game plan changes we had early in the season, we're still playing lights out at the moment. So I can't complain with this side. Renenzi is looking very strong here in this early uh, months of, this, of the campaign. As uh, we're winding down the month of November, getting ready to head into December, and. Um, Despite hitting the dilemma for the first time in this episode and in this series, it turned out okay, even though we lost a, 
another key player at the, on the wing um, that's been uh, stepping up for us, but now it's given us an opportunity to uh, have some more players in the depth, further down the depth chart, giving them the opportunity to play and show us what they can do. Well, with that being said, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you guys next time.